you have decided that you are ready to buy a home and your next step should be to reach out to a lender to get qualified for a mortgage. I am Lisa Jones, broker and owner of Vantage Point Realty, and I'm going to take a minute here to discuss the difference between being pre-qualified for a mortgage and pre-approved. When you reach out to the lender, that lender is going to ask for some information from you. They're going to ask for information about your income and your assets, your employment history, and they're also going to pull your credit. Once that has happened, the lender is going to determine whether or not you're qualified to purchase a, a home. And if you are, they're going to provide a letter that states something like, Jane Doe was qualified to purchase a home for $300,000 based on the information provided to us. Once you have that letter, you can write offers on homes. And this market right now is pretty competitive. A lot of homes are being met with multiple offers because inventory is really, really low. So actually, regardless, I would suggest that you take it a step further and have that extra level of confidence when you're shopping. Go ahead and get pre-approved. And the difference between being pre-qualified and pre-approved is that the lender has not only looked at the information that you provided, they have verified it as well. They've looked at your tax returns. They've looked at your bank statements. They have um, reviewed your, your pay stubs. And with all of that information, they have decided that you are approved to purchase a home or pre-approved to purchase a home for up to $300,000. And um, having that that information reviewed and that that um, documentation reviewed ahead of time can save some troubles down the line because unfortunately I have seen times when folks have been pre-qualified for a mortgage but unable to perform once they actually submit the documents and this could be for a number of reasons it could be uh, you know for a lender uh, just kind of doing some shoddy work or it could be the fact that someone is self-employed employed and uh, the money that they have, the income that they have, isn't really reflected on their tax returns. And, uh, you know, they might not be able to qualify for a mortgage based on, on the, um, you know, the income actually that's been uh, documented and reported to the IRS. Um, could be a number of reasons why these things happen. Misinformation provided up front and, you know, caught once everything is being documented. So definitely take that extra step and get yourself pre-approved for your mortgage. It'll make your, your shopping a little more carefree and uh, hopefully make the process a bit smoother uh, towards the finish line and uh, with your successful home purchase. So if you've got questions about lending, real estate, buying or selling, uh, interested in learning about a neighborhood or want to know about your home or want to know, you know, what the steps are in the home purchasing process, I'd be more than happy to discuss that with you. I definitely believe that knowledge is power and I'm more than happy to share any of the knowledge that I have with you. And uh, I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for taking the time and I wish you the best in the rest of this 2020 and into 2021. Stay well, be well, and thank you again for tuning in. Bye.